Well, what up, everybody? Welcome back to another Crucible of War market update. This one's spicy this week as Crucible of War boxes, as you know, have spiked with uh, Rudy from Alpha Investments coming out with a video, Channel Fireball raising their prices, lots of stuff to talk about. First off, I want to give a shout out to Mitch over at Midtown Merchant. Actually, Mitch and I right now are in the middle of uh, hosting an event together for Compete Sports. Look at this. Look at my people. There are 65 people. We've got 32 tables running full with a skirmish event, right? Right now it was a ton of fun we were all hanging out in chat uh we were all hanging out in the general section for a while talking hearing your stories it was a lot of fun so um just want to shoot a shout out to mitch over at kitchen table tcg or that's me sorry <laughs> shout out to mitch over at midtown merchant and uh with that promo code just love 10 you save 10 percent off hey i also have a, a promo code for tcg player in my link in my uh description um, and you can support the channel if you can't find your singles at Midtown Merger. So cool. Hey, let's get into uh, Crucible War. I just want to also shout out all my patrons. You guys rock. Uh, patrons get access to a collection tracker. Uh, my collection tracker looks something like this. Uh, there's one for each set, but then this one also has, uh, this is like the full collection tracker. And it kind of uses this market value and gives you a value for your collection based on the prices this week. So uh, this is for all the sets. As you know, I do a market update video uh, a couple times a week for each set. And that will go move forward. So that's just five bucks. It's, uh, it's a great way for you to track your collection, track the value of your collection, blah, blah, blah. Hope you enjoy it. Let's, uh, let's get into it. This is going to be a little bit of a quicker update video because I am running that event right now and helping out uh, for Compete Sports. Uh, but let's get into it. This has been an interesting week for Crucible of War. Uh, I do want to say that it's interesting. Uh, the sealed boxes. Oops, I already gave it to you. There you go. If you wanted to look, that's uh, I already gave it to you. The sealed boxes are really obviously moving. We're up 50%. There are some selling on uh, on eBay for around $1,000, anywhere from $800 to $1,000. But I did want to highlight that Channel Fireball currently has them for $750. So that's kind of the market price right now is around $750. And uh, for some reason, people are spending more money on eBay. Maybe they have eBay bucks. I don't really know. But uh, they, they are buying them for between eight and a thousand dollars on eBay. That's a 50% increase from last week. Uh, and it really is a retraction back to where we kind of were. Not a retraction, the opposite of retraction. A market stabilization back to where we were at the beginning of the year when we saw these prices kind of spiking here at the $600 mark. But then Channel Fireball came in at $450. Uh, we had the market really flatlined. Actually, they were at $475, I think. The market kind of flatlined for a while. And now with that Rudy video and uh, with Channel Fireball raising their prices, the new market is set at $750. And as you know, we've talked on my on these market updates that the the ev was you know it was it was not balanced and something had to happen so this is what's happening and the market is saying that these boxes are worth 750 bucks so let's get to the fabled uh we have not seen the market react in the singles you're going to see that very quickly here uh we we have not seen the market react in the singles the way that it has reacted to the boxes uh my anticipation was that we'll be a little bit behind uh, as people pop in and uh, see the value of the singles, they will uh, they will kind of equal out. And so uh, th that's just my opinion. Again, I'm not really sharing my opinions with you, but from the market data, there just isn't that many sold listings of cards that are much higher than what we've seen in the past. So the, the market data is not going to represent this 50% increase in sealed boxes, as you will see. Uh, the Arknight Shard, there was no sold listings above 3600. Uh, that seems to be what people are asking right now for an Arknight Shard. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm putting in as the price right now. The last sold listing I think I, I was aware of was around 3,500. Let's go ahead and get to the legendaries. Uh, the legendaries, the same thing. I, I know of a Cheyenne that sold for 2,200. It was in a great condition uh, that, that sold yesterday for 2,200. The spring tunic is on eBay. That one is up. Uh, that was sold listing for 275. And then there was a 20 blade this week sold for 600. So uh, keep in mind though, all this data, uh, the market's still reacting to the box prices. So it'll be interesting to see in the week where we're moving uh, based on these singles. But right now the, the market hasn't spoken for the singles that are currently available. All in all, that makes your average legendary. And you know, I kind of qualify 20 blade as a legendary because it's so rare. I opened 21 boxes, did not get it. Uh, not that that means anything, but uh, you know, so here we go. That's uh, up 2%. You can see we got a flat line there going on. Your average is sitting around $1,000. Okay, cold foils were pretty interesting this week. Honestly, not a ton of downwards movement. We had we had kind of seen a downwards trend last week. Not a ton of downwards movement. Most cards kind of sticking around. Uh, the rares, you know, anywhere from a hundred. Uh, Red liner that sold on eBay this week for one thirty three, and there were no other ones available less than that. 
Uh, and, and that's something that's been added since uh, it was late last night, about 2 a.m. that I put all these numbers in. Uh, but Redliner seems to be kind of the, the going one. Talishar at 150 sold. Uh, I mean, some of them are moving, but you could also find these for less if you are patient. Remember that I pulled data at one time. So just because something's not available on the market at the one moment when I pull it doesn't mean that that's necessarily the price. Uh, but I do pull it kind of around the same time every week. So that's kind of where we're trying to get. There are flaws to the system is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, but it kind of seems like the average value is sitting anywhere between 80 and maybe $120 for the rare uh, cold foils and I will show you at the end of this video I have done something new this week where we will show you the value the estimated value if you hit a rare cold foil and then the estimated value if you hit a majestic cold foil so we have actually separated them out um, which I think is going to be helpful so the majestic so looking a little soft there was a crater fist and a breeze rider boots that sold on eBay for 250 and I saw some available on Facebook yard sale for like 275 Facebook yard sale Facebook marketplace for like 275 uh, perch grapplers sold at 275 so those ones were a little soft the courage of blade hold was a little more bullish uh, up a couple bucks let's see there was something else that was up a little bit uh, the blood sheet skeleton also up so it seems like the market kind of is all trying to figure out what the market prices are eBay these were both best offers that were accepted so uh, keep that in mind it could have been somebody who's just looking to move the cards quickly that doesn't necessarily dictate that that is the new market price but if, as you're looking at sold listings and as you're looking to see information from this past week that is sales that have happened so i like to just kind of specify those things i personally would not sell at 250 i would kind of look back at this history right where we're, we're kind of we, we kind of set a precedent a little bit higher than that uh but 250 is this week's sold prices and i'm just trying to share with you the data so Gambler's Gloves at 410, that's a little bit soft too. All in all though, not a ton of downwards trends. And again, now that the boxes are more expensive, potentially we'll see less being opened. And so we'll start seeing uh, some movement potentially. Uh, we've been on a downwards trend on all these for the last couple weeks. Uh, I mean, look, we had a negative 10%, negative 2%, no retracement, and then negative 5% last week. So it'll be interesting. We had a lot of boxes enter the marketplace. Uh, and now that that's not going to happen as much, it'll be interesting to see what happens with some of these cards. See if we ever see these kind of highs again that we were at uh, with an average of 20, 222 at one point. There's your graph. You know, we had a hard, oh, that latest value should not be a part of that graph. I'm sorry. Hide, calm. Uh, we had a, a, an uptick and then a downtick and now kind of a flat line. All uh, right, let's go to the Majestic Rainbow Foils. Uh, again, like not a ton of movement, honestly. Really just things, a couple dollars here and there. The market's uh, bl uh, Rud Runeblood Barrier. I'm guessing that's a result of the uh, Channel Fireball OTK. Uh, was it Channel Fireball? Somebody did an OTK deck this week. I'm guessing that that was a result of that. I think it might have been the official Flesh and Blood channel, actually. Um, and then Aetherize, the Rainbow Foil for that, selling at 40 on TCG Player and uh no no lower listings of that either so that one was kind of interesting those are kind of the ones that i uh highlighted this week coax of commotion is down to 57 bucks and there is a spoils of war eh, it's not down i guess i actually want to pick up another spoils of war I, I picked up one at 65 this week um personally i want another one for my 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 deck but your average we're up three percent at your average rainbow foil majestic is sitting around 33 dollars and you can see we had a huge retracement right down 14 13 7 percent and now we're starting to slowly tick back up on some of those so uh very very interesting to see the graphic of that Let's go ahead to the regular Majestics. Remember that these uh, these equipments are short printed at 50% of the other ones. Uh, and I have taken that into account into the EV. Uh, but all in all, those are still pretty readily available at the, like the $33 mark. And it, it seems like the only one that's kind of moving right now is Courage of Blade Hold is up about nine bucks. Viziotronic uh, is up about uh, 19 bucks. I was actually wondering if that was a result of more people seeing the artwork. <laughs> I don't know. That was just something that I thought of. Uh, and let's see if the other ones are moving. So blood sheath, I guess those are all starting to move. All those kind of equipment non-foils. Metacarpus up just a buck or two. And then Aetherize is also up three bucks. So something's going on with Aetherize. I don't actually know. I don't I don't remember seeing anything in the market about it. But uh, some they're starting to move for some reason. So just an interesting notion there. 
and let's see snag is down about four bucks all in all though a six percent increase over last week and we're seeing the same thing happen with the non-foils that happened with the uh the foil majestics so i like to see that because that kind of tells me that players are kind of dictating some of the prices and it's not seeing some huge spikes as a result of collectors or something Let's get to the rare rainbow foils. Uh, remember, I just used TCG low here. So like Benji, they didn't lower their price, right? Like that was the same price the last three weeks. Uh, actually, KO, they lowered their price. And these are kind of potentially short printed, but it's really hard to tell exactly what the print run is on some of those cards. So keep that in mind. Cassi has been lowered to 80 bucks. Data Doll lowered to 50. Uh, Kevdane not lowered much. Uh, the lunging press, the springboard somersault, and the cash in, uh, relatively stable, not really losing much value. All in all, all the rainbow foils, they've lowered their price about 4% on TCG player of those cards. And you can see the, the trend lines here. Um, they, they are going down the last two weeks and it's, it's kind of an interesting bouncing up and down in my opinion there. Uh, and most of that is going to be tied to kind of these cards. I will say foil cash-ins are still moving. Like there's still sold listings on them. Uh, it's kind of funny. I think it's start. I don't know. I don't want to say too much about it, but uh, I'm glad I have some foil cash-ins. So, all right, let's move on to the rares. The cash-ins still moving at like eight bucks. Uh, it is down though. I mean, it is, they are lowering the price of the cash-in. Uh, let's see what else is going on. The, the equipment, uh, the weapons. I mean, it's kind of crazy to think that this rare is selling for four bucks from a set that was printed like Crucible of War. But I know as a fact that they are selling because I have all my extra Crucible of War rares listed and they sell. So every day I get, you know, one or two sold listings at these prices. So interesting though, we're down a negative 4%. Uh, we, sorry, we are just down 4% right now. Uh, down negative four would make it go up. Um, so let's uh, bounce into the common rainbow foils. Let's see what our our uh, tokens are sitting at. Cracked bobble is down to 55 bucks. Quicken down to 10 bucks, and the copper down to 16. So interesting to see that there was our rune chant token. Uh, it's actually up this week to 450. Very very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and get to the EV. Uh, so I, I did make some slight alterations I wanted to make you all aware of on the EV as I learned more about the set and as more data and as people kind of get to me and say, hey, have you considered this or that? Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm providing accurate data. And then I went back to the EV chart. And, and so the EV chart you'll see at the end, I've applied that to this video from the past weeks as well. It, it was pretty easy to apply it. So uh, basically the biggest difference is that now uh, this average for the cold foil is going to, to take into effect the majestic pull rate being about half is what we believe or what people believe uh, compared to the rare. So that's kind of now taken into effect. It, it only took about 20 bucks off of the EV of the, of the boxes, honestly, uh, in the past. But uh, I just wanted to start making more rare. And so then what I've also done is given you the box EV that takes the completely random or the completely... Um, the kind of the 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 uh, what am I looking for? The average of those cold foils, including the the pull rates of the majestic and the rare. But then I've also done ahead and made it for if you hit the majestic cold foil, what would that be for you? And then your average is here. But then if you hit the rare cold foil, what's your average there? So that's kind of what this is set up for. If you hit the majestic cold foil and no legendary, no fabled, sorry, let's start over. If you like the box EV, right? So your average cold foil, plus you get the chance at the legendary, plus you get the chance at the fabled. So if you're opening 40 boxes, your average will be sitting at around $586 a box. If you open one box, your average will be sitting around $392 a box. If you do not open because of the legendary and the fabled percentage, but then if you open a one box and you hit a majestic, your EV is sitting at 588.87 if you don't hit the legendary and the fabled. If you open one box and you hit a rare and not the legendary and not the fabled, your EV would be sitting at $368.95. So hopefully that helps you decide, is it worth it to open a box? Uh, right now though, I mean, even with the average box EV, if you were to open 40 boxes, we are now beyond the point where it makes sense because of the huge price spikes. So uh, you can see that that number, let's see, I didn't put that number in yet. Let's see, five, uh, 586.58, five, 586.58. Uh, that number is up. Oh, that's numbers way up. Oh my gosh, Louis, what are you doing? 586.58. 
that number is still very high. We did see some good uh, increases this week. Uh, but what I'm what I'm trying to tell you uh, is that that increase is nowhere close. A six percent increase is nowhere close to your your sealed box increase of fifty percent. So no longer is it worth it really to open up forty boxes of Crucible of War because the EV now for the first week uh, the EV no longer uh, outpaces the box value. So interesting to see all that there's your values for you again um i hope that that uh provides you with some market insight uh if you are opening boxes let me know in the comment section what you pull let me know if you feel like you are hitting something spicy and uh as always i hope that you have a good day remember to be kind to the people around you remember to play the game i mean let's just look at this again like look at how many people are playing right now in this uh this tournament look they're all hanging out in the general chat let's make this bigger for you they're all hanging out right now in the general chat Look at this, it's awesome. They're all hanging out in the general chat because they're done playing. But look at all these people playing games of flesh and blood uh, and an awesome skirmish event being hosted by Compete Sports, uh, which with, you know, I love it. It's me and Kitchen, me and uh, Midtown Merchant. We're, we're kind of hosting it. We're hanging out in the comments. Or we're hanging out in the, the general chat, hanging out and talking to people. It's been a bunch of fun. Um, so I'm excited to get back to that. Hey, I hope you have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. If you want access to all this data, if you want access to all this stuff for your own collection tracker, uh, hit me up on Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash TCG. The link's also in the channel, um, the, the video notes, and uh, you can have access to all the data. And uh, I also have a podcast that I do kind of more of my opinions and if I were investing what I would be investing in based on my market data. Uh, and that's at the higher tier at 15 bucks. So hope you have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. I'm going to get back to watching some great games of uh, Flesh and Blood. And we're actually going to be streaming here in a little bit. Uh, we'll be streaming some of those games too. So hope you have a good one.